Greetings. So this is a painting video on how I do my Dark Angels. Um, plenty of guides out there, but this is basically how I get my Dark Angels on the table moderately quickly. And I'm going to use this Phobos Primaris loot to show you all different colors I use. So I got three Marines. I'm going to do one with brush, one with airbrush and one with spray first. And that's the primer. Then I'm going to do green by brush and two green with airbrush. Just because I haven't got any Dark Angels green spray in the can. So, first off, shake up some good old Chaos Black. Leave it in some lukewarm water. And give it another shake. And give it a good old blasting. Just lay that dry. So that's the spray can done now. I'm going to brush this one with Vallejo Mecha Primer. Making sure to get into all the gaps. Now I got a slightly thinned down version for the airbrush. So. They're all done now. Now, after the primer's all dried. So now we get to paint on the Caliban Green Air, not the normal base color. I prefer the airbrush, uh, a lot of the air paints now because they're already pre-thinned and it just saves me a quick bother just going from one to another. You can just go straight out of the tub, especially for this now, because it's such a dark color. Um, you want to give it a couple of coats. I'd say about two, maybe three. Um, try to use a soft brush. This brush, uh, I could have done with a slightly softer brush, but I, I might do. Just make sure you get into all the bits that you want to do and just leave it set. Now I'm just spraying these two with Caliban Green. So I'm going to leave them all set, and voila. So you can pretty much see that they're practically identical. This one I tend to use the spray can followed by the airbrush. That's basically what I tend to do normally. And then we've got the airbrush and the airbrush, and then painted on entirely. So here we go. First thing I'm going to do is use this Niblet Green. And I'm not going to do all the model in dry brushing. I'm going to get practically everything off. And I'm only going to imagine that the light's coming down straight from above and only brush what the light might light up. So you might have a slight edge here, a slight edge there, or bits that you might just want to mark out with just a little bit of detail. You know, it's just don't go too overboard with it. Just pick out those raised areas that are going to be the most lit up.
also might be worth giving just a brush past the fingers just not to bring them out too light but enough to make sure they're defined and there we go but I missed a bit on the shoulder there so one or two good goes over and it's got a nice sheen to it now bit on the ankles and that should do it Model Air Gun Metal by Vallejo goes on very nice it's a nice strong pigment with it so I, I just like it for getting that base layers down so that's all we're doing here now is going over and just painting everything that I want to paint metal just picking up everything silver and now we're on the bad and black and we're going to pick out everything we want dark including the gun and weapon casings because I prefer them in black rather than red now we're doing the pouches in Rhinox hide and that also goes for the straps as well holding on any of the holsters and sheaves so now we're on the pauldrons and I'm going to do them the bone white colors of the death wing so I'm going to use Bane Blade Brown and this is the air version so it might take one or two coats but basically what we're going to do is just paint both pauldrons and his right kneecap because the other one will be going red so now we're putting down some astro granite just getting it down there so that can set in the meantime while i'm painting everything else now first banty bone and corn red and we are painting the decorative knife and the purity seals we've got a bit of retributed gold for some of the details gonna get the bullets in there as well and the rebar from the ruins over the corn red and we're painting that knee and the Bane Blade Brown to lock in those colors. Mechanicus Gray to clean up and sort of some of the bits I missed with the Astro Granite. Now over to the helmet to paint it corn red. A spanty bone and we're just going to give that one more layer. Now, null oil, not the gloss. Just cover the model and just try to draw off any of the excess. Try not to make it uh, build up too much. Now it's all dried, I will move on to the next colour, which is back to Mechanicus Grey, and we're going to use that to highlight the edges on the gun, Bane Blade Brown, and we're going to try and leave like just a little layer around the edge, but fill in the rest of it with a nice layer of bing bing brown and that goes for the knee as well on the knee just leave like a little bit at the bottom 
so it kind of gives it a shadow effect. On top of the helmet as well, we're going to use corn red just to highlight the very top of the helmet and for the knee as well. Now very carefully do the eyes red as well. We'll be coming back to these because I got my own way of doing them. You can do them whichever way you like, but this is how I like to do my Dark Angel eyes. It's Banty Bam now, and we're gonna go round the edge again of the pauldron. We're gonna leave a bit more at the bottom to give it a bit more of a shadow. Model Air Gun Metal. Now this, we're gonna be painting anything that's more facing up. So the top of a knife the very top of the gauntlets, the rivets and stuff I might have missed on the gun that might just need highlighting, and the very top of the barrel. Now another layer of Ishbanti bone, but a bit higher again. How I do my Dark Angel eyes, I like to use White Scar Air, and I'm going to literally use a really small nib brush and I'm going to give it the impression of where the lenses are looking with a single good dot. After that, technical spirit stone red and we're just going to drop it into each of the eyes. Now retribute of gold. Now we're going to use this just to highlight the very tops of everything we've done gold. Next, I'm going to use some thin down wraith bone and I'm going to paint the very top and work it in the very top of the bone white armor. Dry brushing sun earth bark, all the leather pouches. Next, for some black templars contrast, and for this, I'm going to put it in all the flexy parts of the armor. Talisar Blue Contrast, I'm going to use for the lens on the gun. And then back to Corn Red, we're going to give it another highlight. Give it a bit more Wraith Bone on the pauldrons, on the very top. Now on to the transfers. There's not many transfers for this one, so I'm literally going to just drop some water onto the transfer, which is being held by a tweezers. But I'm going to use this Microsol and Microset. Microsol will literally soften the transfer to go around shoulders easier. And Microset will actually stick it to the model. So just get the transfer wet. And then we're going to transfer it on. And draw all the water off it. And then some solution just to soften it up so we can get the mold around it and voila it's a tip for small pieces just keep a bigger part on there and just put the whole transfer and sit on it you can even slide the transfer onto a bigger part of the transfer just so it's easier to handle Decided to go with keys for his other knee. And then as he's going to be more into the fire wing, I'm going to be putting that on his shoulder. If anyone follows me on Twitter, you would know my dark angels ain't exactly normal kind of blending 30k with 40k
Now I'm just getting a little bit of bad on black and getting most of it off the brush and just literally darkening the transfer on this knee just to look, make it look like it's in the shadow. But some of the transfers can make it look a bit overpowering. You might want to do that for any green armored um, white transfers as well on the model just to give it, tone it down a bit. Now I'm using Ethereum Blue here and I'm actually using a one of those ink pens, which I didn't get on with, but I, the bristles were nice and soft, so I thought I'd repurpose it and it made a nice dry brusher. So I'm using Ethereum Blue here just to finish off that rock effect, which worked very well for me. And now I'm finishing off the rim with a bag of black. So there we go, that's my finished Primaris Phobos Armoured Lieutenant. It's not the most intense guide, you know, you can use this guide to really check out a load of these uh, Space Marines. Um, like these ones are all kit bashed like, but painting normal Primaris, you can do it very fast with this technique. And they don't like too bad. Especially with like the eyes, I really prefer just doing the eyes quick like that and it gives them more of a menacing look I find, where the normal lenses make them look a bit too vacant, but given that highlight, especially like on the lower parts of the body, like on the ankles and all that, so it does really help uh, bring out the green a lot more. And not going too overboard with it. But as for my other Marines, I've made all sorts of models, uh, kit bashes, and all the rest of them. And uh, yeah, you'll make them your own. So I've got like a lot of Primaris sized firstborn in my army but it was a load of fun doing them and at the end of the day that's all that matters if it it's if it's the you know you could push these even further with more highlights and all the rest of it but personally this is pretty much as far as i go with my on my dark angels all in all i hope that helped um especially the fact that i was asked as well a couple of times how do i prime models how do i get that green a green dark angels green color if i haven't got an airbrush if i haven't got any wood spray and can i do it with a brush and all sorts of things i've been asked quite a few times now so i just thought I'll make sure that I've at least got each way at the start of different ways that you could at least get that solid ba or green base to start off with. But yeah, I hope that helps and thanks for watching. Goodbye.